Hello, welcome to my video. This is a Matsuhana storyline that takes place in the canon Haiku universe. Please note that there are sexual jokes and innuendos, and although it is nothing too explicit, viewer discretion is advised. Also, a friendly warning, this video does contain cursing. As always, I do hope you enjoy. Now on to the video. In which one game of truth or dare leaves Hanamaki with a kiss he can't seem to stop thinking about? This cherry soda tastes like misery. Hanamaki takes another swig from his Ramyun bottle as he leans back against the kitchen counter, then smacks his lips with a subsequent ah. Just miserable. A scoff comes from beside him. That's because it's cherry flavored. Akua holds up his own Ramyun bottle and waves it around in Hanamaki's face, the little marble inside making dull rattling noises. Strawberry is the only acceptable flavor. What? Did the volleyball that knocked you upside the head earlier mess with your brain? Cherry is superior to any flavor. Akua huffs. You're so wrong, it makes me want to laugh. That's how I feel looking at your stupid pubescent face. Excuse me. Pubescent? MHM, still can't even grow facial hair. Well, you're. Shut up, I want the last word. Hanamaki takes a sip from the bottle before looking at it once more in mock distaste. Um, maybe it's me that's miserable. Akua sighs. Could have told you that. What's up with you? You've been acting weird all night. Especially with Matson. don't think you're subtle. When Hanamaki feels his cheeks turning cherry, he ducks his head. Don't know what you're on about. A beat of silence passes before Akua continues. If you like him so much that it's getting harder to keep to yourself, you might as well tell him before you make things really weird. Hanamaki's head shoots up, his face bright pink and his eyes wide. SHH, don't say that out loud, he's literally in the living room. With a smirk, Okua leans in close to Hanamaki's face. Or what? Hanamaki unceremoniously belches, compelling Okua to yelp and roughly shove Hanamaki's face away. You. Ah, oh, what the hell? You're so damn gross, get away from me. A voice calls from the living room. I don't know what you guys are doing that's so gross, but can you be gross later and hurry up with the snacks? Another voice follows. Emphasis on the hurry up. Arms crossed, Okua glares at Hanamaki, who is rubbing his face, and jerks his head toward the living room. Hanamaki rolls his eyes as he calls out. Sorry, we'll be out soon. Hanamaki lowers his voice. Okay, yeah, the thought of Matsukua has been driving me a bit more crazy than usual lately. Okua smiles, and Hanamaki can almost see his eyes glimmer. Shut it. I haven't said a word. Your eyes speak. That was strangely beautiful. Hanamaki grimaces. Okay, okay. But why is Matsun making you go crazier? Did something happen? No, but. You know that trip he's going on tomorrow? Ah, uh, yes, the boy you're dating in your head is going to a wedding in a foreign country, and you won't see him for a week. Woe is you. Just rub it in some more, will ya? It's not the fact that he's leaving for a week, I'm not some clingy bitch like you. You. It's just that, I watched this Thai BL movie yesterday where the male lead swept the main character off his feet in the airport and kissed him romantically before boarding the plane. And, like, it was a flight to the UK because his parents wanted him to go to Oxford for university, for four years. But it's okay, because they had promise rings, and they were in love, and all I'm saying is that I want that to be me and Matsukura tomorrow. And it won't be because, for some reason, Matsukura isn't madly in love with me and the only thing he seems like he'd want to kiss is a cat. Okura pinches the bridge of his nose. Hearing you speak makes me so glad I have a boyfriend. Ah, uh, you're even acting like I were with that stupid nose pinch. Stop it. Matty, please put yourself out of misery and confess to Matson. I know that there's a chance of rejection, and nobody would want that, but longing for him with these crazy Thai drama-inspired fantasies might be worse than rejection. I know you're right, but I still start shaking in my boots at the thought of telling him I like him. HM. You need a push, a big one, and I've got just the... Oika. Hanamaki. Hoops. Okay, sorry, we're coming. Okua grabs a couple of sodas and junk food off the kitchen counter, pushing some into Hanamaki's arms as they file out. Once in the living room, Hanamaki sees Matsukura and Iwezumi sitting cross-legged on the floor with Uno cards laid out for a four-person game. Iwezumi narrows his eyes as Hanamaki and Okua approach them while Matsukura lets out a fake yawn. Sorry, sorry, your host, also known as the life of the party, is back. Who said that? Who said that? You're both ugly. Thought I would have to leave to catch my flight before you guys came back. Hanamaki lets the bags of food in his arms drop to the ground before sitting beside Matsukura. That would have been a nice challenge. What took you guys so damn long? Okua and I were trying to get a quickie in. Got him. Why did I even ask? Babe, that's not true. Maki. Grinning, Hanamaki looks over at Okua, who is setting down the bottles of soda and some snacks on a nearby coffee table. Yes, cookie. Okua shoots him a scowl. You're in my house, behave before I break a bottle over your head. Yeah, Hanamaki, have some decoration. Decoration? It's decorum. Dumbus. Doofus. Don't start. But name calling is our love language. Matsukua looks at Hanamaki with a startlingly soft smile. Right, dingbut. Something about it is strangely romantic, Hanamaki quietly thinks. Realizing his thoughts, embarrassment washes over Hanamaki. He gulps. Yeah, ah, uh, right, dickwood. Please, don't start. Hanamaki turns to see Okua plop down beside Iwezumi. But let's start this game. Okay, who's going first? Actually, I wanna play a different game. Iwezumi raises an eyebrow at Okua. Really? What game? Okua's gaze shifts toward Hanamaki ever so slightly, and Hanamaki's blood runs cold at the sight. Whatever Okua was about to say couldn't be good. Let's play truth or dare. Oh, I like that idea better than Uno. If you want to play that instead, I'm cool with it as long as no one has to do something illegal again. What, still traumatized from that time you peed on a neighbor's lawn and their dog bit your ass? I don't want to talk about it. PFFT. Well, what about you, Matty? 
Hanamaki looks right at Oikora, who's looking at him with that infuriating knowing smile, and Hanamaki can almost see the devious cogs turning in his brain. Hanamaki sighs, knowing he's already lost a battle that he never even fought. Sure, I guess we can play. Okay. Iwa-chan, you ask first. Me. Okay. Oika, truth or dare? Hum, truth. Pussy. Seconded. Give me a break, we just started. Iwazumi rubs his chin and looks up at the ceiling as he thinks. After a moment, he snaps his fingers. What's your biggest kink? Oiko almost instantly flushes and slaps Iwazumi's shoulder. Iwa-chan, hello. Please don't embarrass me like this. It's payback for daring me to piss on the neighbor's lawn last time. Ooh, now I'm curious. Right. Got me biting at my fingernails. Oikoa sighs, the blush on his face subsiding. When he speaks, it's in a grumble. It's mirrors. Bro, your reaction to the question overhyped it. It's embarrassing. It's not even anything too wappy. It's still embarrassing. And it makes sense for a narcissist like him. For real. PFFT. Oh, screw you, Madsen. Screw you? Don't you want Iwazumi to do that? In front of your full-length mirror? Since you've got a smart mouth. Yikes. Matson, truth or dare? Dare. Ooh, no hesitate. Hanamaki catches the glint in Okoa's eyes, and suddenly, he knows exactly where this is going to go. Well, first, pick between Iwa and Maki. A chant begins in Hanamaki's head. Please don't pick me, please don't pick me, please don't pick me, please don't pick me, please don't pick me. Sorry, Iwa, but you know I gotta go with my twin, Hanamaki. Oh boy. Not like I'd want to be paired up with you. Ouch. Okay, Matson. Oh no. I dare you to. He wouldn't. Kiss Hanamaki. He would. Hanamaki gulps and dares a glance toward Matsukoa. Surprisingly, he wears an expression of indifference. That's it. PFFT, don't you know Hanamaki and I already make out? Oikoa smirks, his eyes looking right into Hanamaki's. Ah, I should have known. Oika, are you twelve? What kind of dare is that? He probably wants me to show you how a real man kisses, Iwazumi. You have one more stupid thing to say before I punch you. Okay, okay. Matsukoa turns to Hanamaki with an awkward smile. Hanamaki can't look him in the eye, so his eyes flip down and end up landing on his lips, which may be even worse. Matsukoa's lips are thin and soft looking with a baby pink hue. And they would be on Hanamaki any moment now. Well, pucker up, sweetheart. Then, Matsukoa whispers. Ah, uh, are you actually okay with this? Oikoa is nothing but a perv, we don't got a kiss. What are you whispering about? It better not be me. Hanamaki chokes out a laugh. Yeah, ah, uh, you know, it's just you, no big deal. Matsukoa smiles and, it may be Hanamaki's delusions, but he sees a shy pink dust Matsukoa's cheeks. Hey, alright. Hanamaki's heart is thumping in his throat at this point, and he's afraid Matsukoa will be able to feel its quickening beat as he brings a hand up to cup Hanamaki's cheek. Hanamaki folds his hands in his lap so it's less visible that they're trembling, but his stiffness and guaranteed full body flush surely already give away his nervousness. It is as though time slows as Matsukoa inches closer to Hanamaki's face, his long eyelashes fluttering as his eyes close. Hanamaki has to swallow down a shameful whimper, squeezing his eyes shut once Matsukoa is so close their noses bump. And then Matsukoa is kissing him. Objectively, it's nothing special, just their lips gently pressed against each other while their tongues slide languidly. But it still sends warmth coursing through Hanamaki's veins, his heart set ablaze as his world begins to spin. But heaven isn't eternity, apparently, because before Hanamaki knows it, Matsukoa is disconnecting their lips, and Hanamaki almost chases after the kiss. Matsukoa smacks his lips with a hum, then smiles. You taste like cherry. Hanamaki blinks slowly, still in a complete daze. Not wanting to look at Matsukoa anymore, he lets his gaze drop to his lap. It, ah, uh, the, ah, uh, soda. Um, cherry is good, but grape flavor solos. What? Grape is the flavor you go to when all your favorites are already gone. I like grape flavor. Hanamaki, are you alright? Hanamaki looks up to see Matsukoa's concerned expression. Um? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You don't look like it. Maybe because that was his first kiss? Hanamaki groans and stares daggers at Oikoa. He hadn't revealed the main reason Hanamaki was reacting this way to the kiss, but still. Oikoa. Wait, for real? I'm your first kiss? Hanamaki turns his head back to Matsukoa slightly and only offers a meek nod. Oh, well, man. Matsukoa laughs and scratches the back of his neck. I don't know if I should feel honored or guilty. If I knew that, I would have just kissed you on the cheek. It's not a big deal. I don't know why you didn't kiss him on the cheek in the first place. Weird essential kiss. Oikoa grins broadly. I wonder why, too. Matsukoa holds up a hand. I will not be taking further questions at this time. Hanamaki doesn't know whether to laugh or cry. What he does know, however, is that he'll be wondering many things about this kiss for a long time. We love balls. Thursday. 11.11pm. It's 11.11 make a wish. I wish you would shut the fuck up. You want me so bad, it makes you look stupid. Unamused Iwazumi. He's mine actually, thank you very much. Uh, who are you again? Someone hold me back. Meow. Anyway, now that you're all here, I would first like to say thank you to Aikora for hosting us this fine evening in his humble abode. Biceps guy emphasized a message. Thanks Aikora. Oh. You're welcome. Secondly, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for the support you've given me these past three years. But alas, this chapter has closed, and the time has come for me to move on to my next stage of life in a country far far away. Goodbye, all. You're so mf dramatic. You are going to a fancy ass wedding in Amsterdam and will be living in luxury for a week. Over here acting like you're going off to war. Just say you're jealous. I am jealous. Good. I'll miss you so much my snoobly woobly bear. I'll miss you even more my supple and sweet honey bunchy munchy. You too. This close to leaving the group chat. Now now, Iwa-chan, let the two kids be in love. No, I'll miss you most my stinky little sugary poop. Never mind. 
You're what? Sigh. Meo. No, but for real have fun. Iwezumi agreeing. Yes, yes, and send lots of pics so we can live vicariously through you. Will do. And thirdly. Ahem. Thank you for the kiss goodbye. Maki poo. 11.23 p.m. It's him not responding once you brought up the kiss for me. Meo. He's trying to forget the taste of dog food from Matsukawa's mouth. Please see. Hey. That was one time, okay. Sorry I was checking on my dog lol. Isn't she with your big sister this week? 11.28 p.m. Iwa-chan. What did I do? Nothing just check DMS. Sigh. Okay. Twin. Where you at? Sorry twin. You're welcome for the kiss. And it did not taste like dog food. Good. On a real note you were so awkward after and I don't know if I pressured you but sorry. It's whatever. Don't mention it. But but. But nothing. Don't mention it. Seriously. Please. Oh. Got it. Well uh. Before things get more uncomfortable. I'm gonna go sleep a little before my flight. Alright. Sweet dreams. And safe travels tomorrow. Thanks. Good night. Hanamaki rests his phone on his stomach and falls back on his bed, letting his head hit the pillow with an oof. His heart has gone back to thumping like he's just run a marathon, and he can't help but replay the kiss again and again in his mind. Why was he reacting this way? It was just a kiss. Even if it was from the guy he's liked for eons, even if it was his first, it was only a kiss. It meant nothing to Matsukura, so it should mean nothing to him. And yet. Ugh. Hanamaki grabs the pillow next to him and groans into it as he curls up into a ball. His own rationale wasn't working on him. Perhaps his emotions were only temporarily running high. After all, it was a long night, and some events that had occurred were connected to his deep personal feelings, so it was only natural he would feel this way right now. Yeah, that must be it, he thinks. With that, he relaxes, just a little, knowing that he'll probably think of the kiss as nothing more than a silly little thing in the morning. Friday. 10.49 AM. You have created a group chat. You have renamed the group chat Matsukoa DNI. It is a new day and I am still going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over that damn kiss. Help the group chat name. Hope you didn't have a wet dream about it. I did not you stink. Sheree. WTF. Why am I here? Oh I were. I assume Bakura told you. But in case he was actually able to keep a secret from you for once to respect my privacy. I have a fat ass crush on Matsukura. Oh he did tell me. Captain, you continue to betray me. Maki, crying Oikura. It was yesterday in DMS. I didn't want him unknowingly saying stuff that would make things more uncomfy after the kiss. Iwezumi affirming. Sawi. Fine. It's okay my little kawaii buja. It's too early for this shit. And I still don't know why I'm here. You guys need to help me. Desperate Hanamaki. Bro what are we supposed to do? Erase your memory like it's men in black? Lmeo. Keyboard smash I'm being serious. I don't know how to stop thinking about it. To be honest don't try to force yourself to not think about it. Just let yourself feel how you need to feel about it and him. I agree. Your reaction is normal given the situation. But I hate feeling this way. The idea of exhausting my already limited emotional capacity for someone who doesn't even like me back for real. Disgusted Hanamaki. I don't want to think or feel this way about someone who doesn't think or feel this way about me half as much. It feels like a waste of my time. Mappy. You're way too hard on yourself. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. I don't know why, but for whatever reason, you like Matsukura. And it's okay to like him. But remember, he's your best friend above anything else, so don't let your crush or him not reciprocating those feelings mess up what you already have. B-U-T-T-T I'd like to say that there is a chance he does like you back. He's never talked about liking someone like ever though. That doesn't mean he hasn't liked someone though. And that also doesn't mean that someone isn't you. So don't lose hope. But also try to be okay with your feelings and whatever his feelings may turn out to be. Frustrated Hanamaki. Okay. Oh. Speaking of the love of my life, he just texted me. He wants me so bad. Weren't you just crying two minutes ago about how he doesn't feel the same way? Shh. Yes. Manifest it. Yes. Don't do that again. I know that was a little too zesty. By losers. Private messages with him. Friday. 10.58 AM. I wish I were a bird. Well good morning to you too. Good morning. You loved a message. Now, why do you want to be a bird? Because it's so pretty up in the sky. Big white clouds in a clear sky where the human world looks like nothing more than specks below. Doesn't that sound nice? It does but it's still so random to say. Oh HHH you're on your flight right now lol. Yes. How is it? Flying first class so it's real nice. Damn I didn't know your people had money. They don't, but the family my cousin is marrying into is. Shocked Hanamaki. Jealous. I'll take you as my plus one if there's anything in the future. You better. I finished season one of Bunga Stray Dogs by the way. Oh. Do you like it? Love it. It's so fun. And the characters are kinda. Thirsting Matsukura. Right. Smash or pass but BSD edition so it straight smashes across the board. Like. Desai Osamu. Smash. Next. Keyboard smash. I'm saying. Bro. Him has sent an attachment. Him has sent an attachment. Desai is so hot. I'd get his name tattooed on my ass. Shit I already ordered a poster while on the flight. Bye. But you're just like me for real. Him has sent an attachment. One chance. Desai. One chance. Want. Need. Legs open 24 stroke 7. Chill we get it. Okay but what about his other half? You have sent an attachment. Smash. Duh. 200% smash from me. He can corrupt me any day of the week. Real. And I love his personality. Right. He's so goofy. Okay. What about Cunicida? Hard pass. Bruh. Smash. Are you for real right now? Hear me out. You have sent an attachment. You have sent an attachment. Like tell me this distinguished dapper gentleman named Kinder. No. More like Cunimida. You're such a hater for no reason. 8. What about the Dilf? The Dilf? You know who I'm talking about you bitch. 
No, I don't. Oh. Him has sent as attachment. Him? Yes, Boo Bear. Oh, uh. man, I don't even know his name. Me neither. Anyway, smash. Smash. Grandpa can get it. Absashi. Smash. Pass. What? Say on God. On God. He is S tier, bruh. Yeah, if S stood for silly. You bitch. He's just too cute. Him has sent an attachment. Him has sent an attachment. Even when he tries to look like a bad boy, he's adorable. Well, I like my boys cute. Okay, okay. A cute adorer? Hard pass. You are Delulu. Smash. I don't see the appeal. How? Him has sent an attachment. Bro is handsome. Him has sent an attachment. Like who you waiting on you gorgeous little gangsta. Dying Hanamaki. I also like my boys with eyebrows. Duly noted. And he looks like a dweeb there. You have sent an attachment. This yo man. Him has sent an attachment. This yours? He was having a moment. MHM sure. Okay what about? Him has sent an attachment. Um how that get there lol. Easiest smash of my life. Although I wish you'd smash me after kissing me like yesterday please the thought of it is driving me mad. Ayo. Hey, uh. Keyboard smash. Keyboard smash. Keyboard smash. Keyboard smash. Are you trying to hide the message? Keyboard smash. Keyboard smash. Bro stop. I didn't mean to send that. So is it true? 11.20 AM. It's you running away. That's alright. If you don't like me, I'll try to win you over. Him has deleted a message. Sorry I went to go help my mum with something. And I was in the middle of reading what you said. I read if you don't then poof. And, you can delete messages? It was some too fruity for me. And yes Dumbus you can delete messages. Don't call me that. Dumbus. Anyway. I wanna take a nap so I'll talk to you later. Alrighty. Bye bye. Safe travels and text me when you land. Thanks bae. And will do. Bye bye. Bye. Monday. 2.05 AM. Hi. 2.10 AM. Unamused Hanamaki. What you mean hi? I told you to text me when you landed on Friday and now it's the wee hours of Monday morning like. Sarai. Jet lag goes crazy. And especially after that 20 hours flight I was like a mummy on Saturday. And you guys are 8 hours ahead so it's like 6 in the evening on Sunday here I forgot. I'm just messing with you it's alright. Though I thought you'd be having fun. But yeah jet lag makes sense. Are you and your family better now? Not really. We're downing coffee like shots over here and yawning every half hour. But we've only got a week here so the show must go on. Dying Hanamaki. We went to the Ridgex Museum today. Dot dot dot. The what? The Ridgex Museum. You're just typing random letters on your keyboard like a toddler. Come again? The Ridgex Museum. Do you not know English? Not that much to be honest. But I know that ain't English. Do you know the word museum? Oh. Context clues. You're so smart. Crying Matsukura. So, how was it? Pretty cool. Just a bunch of Dutch historical stuff with paintings and figurines etc etc. Him has such an attachment. Him has such an attachment. Oh, oh, oh looks pretty. MHM. Him has such an attachment. Him has such an attachment. Him has such an attachment. OMG so colonial. Like a KII done with yo bad self. Keyboard smash. Okay but why the ginger guy kinder? Nah don't start. Sobbing okay. Him has such an attachment. Me and you for real. Mu. Yes twin. Cute ass pose too. Him has such an attachment. I'm not sure what's going on with the duck here. Mayo. This painting kinda funky. It's doing like. A weird dance. Weird dance? Brother it looks like it's getting shot at. And why is it bigger than the trees? I on no alad I'm not the painter. Where's the painter? Dead I'm sure. Oh. There was this girl who I was talking to who was a tourist from Hawaii. Dord. Thirsting Matsukura. Oh. She was hot. Was she? W-A-Y-Y-Y out of my lead. Well I doubt that. For some reason you genuinely seem to believe I'm better looking than I actually am. I wish I had a photo of her. And then you'd realize I don't even deserve to breathe in the same building as her. Okay. But she still talked to lil ol me. She was so nice too. She knew a lot about Dutch history because she took a class apparently and gave me so much context and facts. Or. And she said my accent when I spoke English was cute. Shit had me twirling my hair and giggling like a schoolgirl. Lol. And I got her snap. If she gave me one chance, I'd use it to get my ass into a university in Hawaii for her. Bye. Bruh you're barely even responding to me. I don't know what to say. Every time I try to talk to you about people I find hot you get all prudish. Not true. We talked about BSD characters the other day. And we both slug out for Jeff Satter. SHSHH don't bring Satter into this. And I mean like regular people that I actually, it now, meet. Oh. It's not intentional or anything I don't know. I guess you don't do it that often so when you do I'm busy trying to see your angle. Confused Matsukura. Angle. Like obtuse. Crying Hanamaki. Like if you like them or some. Well. Well I can tell you I don't actually like this girl like that. I do like someone though. Really? Who? Secretive Matsukura. MMM not saying. Is it someone I know? Yes. Is it a guy? Yes X2. Does he have black hair? We are not about to play 20 questions. If you can guess the person's name in the next 3 days I'll confirm it. What the hell? Why are you playing games? Just tell me. Now it's more fun this way. You're so extra. Maybe but I know you'll be thinking about it. Damn yahoo. Mua. Okay you should get to sleep now. And I'm gonna go eat dinner. Nighty night. Night. Matsukura DNI. Monday. 2.35 AM. You have sent an attachment. Uh. 2.42 AM. So Matson does have the capacity to like someone. Well that's news. Keyboard smash. Uh. Whoever it is, screw them. When I find out, they better sleep with one eye open. Flabbergasted Iwazumi. Mappy, what? He likes someone. Aha. Uh -huh. And it isn't me. My world is crumbling right now captain. If I weren't so tired I'd be crying. He didn't say that you aren't his crush. But I'm not. How do you know? 
He wouldn't like me. Dot dot dot. For fuck's sake, Hanamaki. Don't make yourself upset for no reason. Until he says I like someone and that person is not you don't get yourself sad. I call agreeing. And I totally think this is him trying to confess to you. If you can guess the person's name in the next three days I'll confirm it. Is this a Disney movie? He wouldn't suggest something like that if he didn't want you to guess. But maybe he's just being a little shit. He's like edging me with this. I'm going to ignore the second sentence. I agree that he's being a little shit, but Ike has also got a point. It's not weird to be secretive about who you like but it's weird to overhype it like that and encourage you to guess. I still think he's being annoying just because. Matty. I'm going to just say. I wouldn't dare Madsen to kiss you if I didn't know he'd kiss you on the lips. Umph, why'd you bring it up? And I also wouldn't dare him to do that if I wasn't certain he'd enjoy just as much as you probably did. Do you understand me? You're nothing but a pervoy cora. Sigh. You're impossible. Where's the voice of reason? Sleeping on my chest right now. I'm sleepy too. Good night. And get to thinking on who that crush may be. Although the answer is glaringly obvious. Private messages with him. Monday. 7.03 PM. Hi. Hi. OMG you're texting me at a reasonable time. Yes. Gotta make sure I don't disrupt the homie's good rest. Thank you. Of course. How are you? I'm good. You? Great. We went out for breakfast this morning and there are so many stray cats. Oh boy. Cats are love. Cats are life. I thought heaven was up above, but it's in Amsterdam. Crying Hanamaki. I'm sure you have photos. You bet your bottom dollar I do. Him has sent an attachment. Him has sent an attachment. Oh. Right. I tried kissing one but it ran away. Reserve those kisses for me then. You have deleted a message. Damn you deleted it before I could see it. In a When I get my own place, first thing I'm getting is a cat. I'll get a cat before I get a mattress. Bye. I want a cat so bad. Isn't auntie allergic? Yeah if it weren't for her I'd have one. Easy. Just throw her away. OMG you're so smart. Okay but my mum is the best cook in the house well then. Heike your love of cats has made me want one too. Glad to know I've successfully indoctrinated you. Let's get a cat together. Oh what breed? A Scottish fold or a munchkin cat. Or whatever we find on the street to be honest. OMG that last breed is my favorite. No matter the gender of the cat we're naming it mean. Yes sir. We're getting two by the way. Starting off. We both be first time cat owners. No no. We get one to start off. That's like the marriage proposal engagement ring. And then we get a second one later on so that the first one isn't lonely. So in this fantasy we're married cat dads. Duh. Only way I would want it. Him has sent an attachment. Don't say shit like that it gives me hope. Hope. What do you mean? Don't mind. No need for hope when this is the only future I'll accept baby girl. Dying Hanamaki. You think I'm playing games. If you try to move into your own place and get your own cat without me I will find you and I will destroy you. You have sent an attachment. Consider me scaroused. TF is that. Scared and aroused. Shitting tears why did I ask? Mayo. Okay but seriously I can't tell if you're for real or not. I'm being serious. The only way I will let go of this cat dad dream with you is if you reject me. Is this a confession? It can be. Mayo bro are you high on catnip too what is up with you? MMM maybe. Okay I have to go to the movie theater to meet up with Okoa and Iwazumi. I'm already late. Text me in the car. I'm driving myself. My parents are tired from work so I can't be a passenger princess today. Crying mad Sukura. Then call me. I don't like distractions when I drive. But you're okay with music? I don't have to focus on music like I do with a conversation. Come on. I wanna keep talking to you. You're being so. Hanamaki crying with confusion. I'm just gonna blame it on the cats. Talk to you later. Bye. Tuesday. 12.16pm. You have sent an attachment. 5.32pm. You should get arrested for sending me that. Mayu. Him has sent an attachment. You have sent an attachment. There's no need for that. And good morning to you. And good evening to you. How's your day been? Nice. I went to a botanical garden today. Oh, oh, oh that's cool. Photos? Not really I didn't feel like taking men and my mum took a bunch. But I have one of the wisteria. You have sent an attachment. Wisteria is so mf pretty. Right. It reminds me of you actually. Really? Yeah. I don't know I feel like there's something naturally warm and calming about wisteria. And that reminds me of you. You are. So cute sometimes. You know, wisteria symbolizes romance. I did not know that. If you want me just say that. PFFT. You remind me of plum blossoms. I'm so flattered by that actually they are my fave. But why? They look familiar because of cherry blossoms but they've got their own extra zestic now. I am not sure I am following. You're always welcoming to people like they've known you for a long time. And you are definitely one of the top three most interesting people I've ever met. And that's saying a lot considering our volleyball team is full of wackers. I'm not sure whether I like that or not. Choose to like it then. Because I like it. You have been strangely sweet and wholesome lately. Miss me or something. Some like that. Okay. Everything is fine right? Yes yes. Except for the fact that you haven't guessed who I like and it's day three already. Whoa whoa whoa. When you texted, it was Sunday in Amsterdam and Monday for me. And right now it's Tuesday for both of us, so I've still got until tomorrow. Don't rush me bitch. Finny. Although I have no clue who it could be. Like you've done a good job at being discreet I guess. Maybe. But the answer is right under your nose. You don't like Okoa or Iwazumi, right? You know. Okay they're both hot so not you but still no. Well I'm out of ideas. Guess you'll never know. No. I won't give up yet. No need to yell with that stank breath. Also, I forgot to say, the wedding is tomorrow, so I'll be pretty busy all day. Alright. Have fun. But if you respond late to my texts, don't hold your three-day bullshit rule against me. Alrighty. In fact, I'll give you until Thursday your time. Grinning Hanamaki. 
Well, Ima, go eat breakfast now. Bye. Thursday. 7.09 a.m. Hey, Makimaki. Hannah Hickey. I'm going to win your love with pickup lines. Ready? Okay. I'm no scientist, but I think we've got lots of chemistry. 7.13 a.m. Confused Hanamaki. Wasn't a banger? 8. Do you look both ways whenever you cross my mind? WTFFF. Where is this coming from? If you were a dessert, you'd be a cutie pie. What are you doing? Are you still at the wedding? Driving home from it now. Well, not me but my dad. Drinking at 18 is legal in the Netherlands and I am admittedly a bit tipsy right now. That explains it. Hannah, I think you might be an alien, because you're out of this world. Dot. Is it working? Are you in love with me yet? You have sent an attachment. Yes. I'll leave my best toots for you though. Um. I thought the sun was the brightest thing I'd ever seen until I saw your smile. They say drunken actions are sober thoughts but this seems to be a bit extreme. I'm not drunk. Just a lil. Apparently tipsy mad Sukura. Also. We must be 5 grams Wi-Fi because we've got a great connection. Please stop. I'm not gonna lie. These past couple of days you've been acting like you have feelings for me beyond friendship and I don't like it. It's gonna make me deranged. Same. You have sent an attachment. Okay sorry. But I thought it was okay because you like me. Silenced Hanamaki. What? Oh shit. Was I wrong? I seriously got the impression you did. And if I did, you'd let me on by talking to me like this? WTF. Why would I let you on? That's a waste of both of our times. Dot dot dot. Matsukura, who do you like? I gave you an extra day. Make a guess. Dot dot dot. Is it me? You don't actually like me, do you? Am I not allowed to? I don't believe it. I can't believe it. Why not? You're my other half for real. Him has sent an attachment. Us. We vibe exquisitely together. You're always there for me. And you never get tired of me even though we're practically always together. You've got such an amazing and enjoyable personality. And it helps that you're cute. And I don't know I just started to like you. Flustered keyboard smash. I wasn't expecting this at all. I don't know how to respond. Maybe tell me if you like me too? Um. I do. Yeah I do like you too. A lot. Him has sent an attachment. Shut up. Teehee. You like me? Yeah. Do you actually like me? Or are there hidden cameras in my room recording me for some YouTube crank? Dude. Is it so hard to believe I like you? Yes. Ha. Huh. To be honest I thought it'd be best to come clean because I thought I was getting obvious. Like I'm pretty sure Okor has caught on. So that's what he meant. Question mark. Don't mind. But Okor has an eye for these things. True. Okay screw Okor I wanna talk about us right now. Flustered Hanamaki. Actually I'm a bit EP right now. About to knock out and go mimimimimi any minute now. Crying. I fly back on Saturday. Sunday I'm coming to your house and asking you out properly. With flowers. So be prepared. Another flustered keyboard smash. Changing your contact name right now. To what? You can see it when you come over. Also confess to me again when you're sober so I know whether you were capping so I can clear out these texts and gaslight you into thinking it was a dream. Dude I'm practically sober. Tell it to the judge. Okay real talk my heart's beating so fast right now. I'm wearing the goofiest smile known to man on my face. Okay I am really about to fall asleep. Before you do, one request. Question mark. When you come over Sunday. After you ask me out. Kiss me again. Flustered Matsukura. Bet. All you ever have to do is ask. I'll keep that in mind.